Hi Aquarius, welcome to your February spiritual guidance reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you. Happy birthday Aquarius, happy birthday. I think we still, yeah, we're in your birthday. So Aquarius, we're pulling you all kind of tools and resources here to work with for the month of February. So we're going to see what comes out here for you. Hopefully this will help navigate and uh, guide you through the month ahead. And we'll be doing a little bit of a tower reading at the end, so don't worry, there's still a little bit of a tower reading here. I know a lot of you just like to get to the tower, but I love doing this. It's a little bit different, and I hope you all enjoy it. Please leave me a comment, let me know. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female, general collective reading. Take it how it resonates for you, including whatever comes out here. So let's see. So we have the Major Arcana only from the Psychic Tarot. We're going to pull you what Major Arcana may really be a big factor for you in the month of February and how, so you can be prepared so you can kind of work with the energy. All right, for Aquarius, what Major Arcana here for Aquarius for February? Wow, okay, flying out here. Wow, this just came out for Sagittarius. I did a few signs ago, so we have power. I'll be going over numbers, all kinds of energy here. So this is what we're doing here. So we have power. This is a Leo energy. So uh, Leo could be a sign that could be significant for you for February. Maybe you have it heavy in your chart. You have a Leo around you in some way, shape or form. But this is strength. And eight is about um, infinity. It's also about action movement as well. Power. So this could be needing to stand in your power, being strong, courageous, and brave for the month of February. This also could be about resistance, um, willpower, maybe holding back our energy, being a little more reserved and kind of controlling or suppressing things maybe that may be better off not doing or not saying. So there could be an energy learning how to more control energies that maybe sometimes you had a little time, little bit of a hard time keeping under control. So that could be energy or it could be energy around you. So please do keep that in mind. It also could be energy of overcoming. Strength has the energy to overcome anything. So you could be overcoming a big situation, thing, whatever that may be in the month of February as well. It could be calling you to look for your inner power and strength for some reason as well. All right, so now we're gonna pull you a uh, zodiac sign. So what other zodiac sign we get that may be playing a big factor for you in the month of February for Aquarius, the birthday. It's too many birthday babies, Aquarius. I hope you enjoy this. Like I said, it's a little bit different. I love doing all kinds of readings. If you're wondering why it's here, I'm moving all my content I was doing on my smaller channel here. It's all going to be here. It's still all the same love readings. They are not going away. So don't worry about that. I just want to try all the readings here and see how it goes. All right. So we have Gemini. And now we have three. Three is the number of building, rebuilding, growth, expansion. So we have a Gemini energy. So and maybe you have Leo or Gemini heavy in your chart or their energies around you. These signs may be playing a big factor for you in the month as well. Now, Gemini does represent um, the lovers and also the magician. So in the tarot, which could be the energy of manifesting, manifesting, manifesting something, or, you know, the lovers can be about, you know, partnerships. It also can be about making a big, big decision as well. A Gemini also rules Mercury or Mercury rules Gemini, however you want to say that. And that is the energy of communications, um, thoughts, ideas, clarity, conversations, speaking as well. So that could all be coming up. All right, so now we're going to pull you a crystal that may benefit you for February. Now, if you're saying, well, if you don't have crystals, maybe you can just work with the message it has um, or the color associated to it, or maybe you don't have any, it could be a good starter crystal for you as well. All right, so what crystal here for um, Aquarius? Let's see, we have amethyst. I think a lot of people probably have this crystal. Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. So it's telling you here to be your true authentic self. As you know, Leo does represent the sun, and the sun is yellow, which represents the solar plexus, which is your energy of who you truly are, your authenticity, your uniqueness, what you're meant to be, do, 
um, achieve in this life as well is that solar plexus energy. So that could be indicating with that Leo energy, which is the indicator of the sun. So we're also going to pull you a chakra card. So this could be pertaining also to the solar plexus chakra. It doesn't have to, but it's also about being your true authentic self and letting that shine, having the power and term determination to do that. And it could be with communication as well. All right. So we're definitely going over a lot of energies here for February. All right. So now I'm going to pull you another angel number. So these numbers could be, we have three and eight showing up so far. So you could be seeing them on their own in combinations, however that uh, resonates for you. It could be date significant for you as well. All right, so let's pull another number here. So we have 55, adventure. So five's showing up now, 55. Fives are the number of change or um, it could be conflict, change, competition, adventure. So this could be, you know, showing your more adventurous side out to the universe as well. Doing more adventurous things, experiencing new things, just getting out there. Now we have blue showing up. So blue and purple have heavily here. And blue is about the communications like we spoke of. And purple definitely is the energy of manifesting and spirituality. Blue and purple definitely have to do with royalty as well. Be recognized and well known, or you could have royalty in your lineage. It doesn't have to be though. So now we're pulling you a message from an animal. And it's not necessarily a spirit animal deck, but we're going to kind of use it as that. But it is the animal dreaming cards. Some of you, if, okay, it could be dreaming of this animal all the time. You're like, oh my gosh, why am I dreaming this animal? So it definitely could be an animal you've been seeing or you will see, been dreaming of, or just has a message for you as well. And some of the animals in this deck are a little bit different. I never really heard of some of them, but uh, we'll see. What do we have? Oh, we have a raven. We have a raven, magic, and we have 25. So two is about partnerships and unities, choices, decisions, and another five. So magic so this can be a very magical time for you some of you there is a term out there i never really heard of until i started watching another tower reader who's more on world event reader but they she got kicked off of youtube she's one of my favorite readers but she has a website and her motto is sending ravens and i never heard of that before and it's actually a good thing ravens are actually a good thing it's about sending luck and support and love and guidance and um just positive energy so ravens could be something you've been seeing a lot of, or maybe even just crows. I mean, they are related, I believe. So blackbirds, ravens, crows, have you been seeing a lot of those? This could be a very magical, February could be a very, a very magical month for you as well. And so learning how to work with that magic and to your benefit is kind of what I'm feeling as well. Hmm. More blue, blue kind of showing up here as well. All right, so let's pull you a chakra. What chakra may be coming up for you, Aquarius? So this could be one that needs healing, clearing, or you just need to work with, or maybe coming up for you that you may need to use this chakra in the month of February. So what chakra here for Aquarius? The heart chakra, four, which is about stability, foundation. So definitely the heart chakra is about, could maybe something uh, that has affected your heart needs to be healed. It could be opening your heart uh, to something or closing something off, your heart off to something that's not benefiting you. Um, or if there's a blockage there, it could uh, maybe need to be healed as well with that heart chakra energy. A feeling like opening your heart here to this very magical energy. And I think it's been around you for a while but you just haven't been maybe either communicating it or opening yourself up to it or being strong enough to reveal this as well and make a change and work with this energy. It's kind of what I'm getting as well. All right, so Aquarius, let's pull you an Archangel. So this Archangel and any of these energies you're unsure of, you can research more on your own if you need to. Archangel for... Aquarius. This could be an angel you're already working with, need to work with, 
uh, or has a message for you. And if you need to know more, you can research this Archangel a little bit further if you need to. I'm here to kind of give you the tools, the resources, the messages you need, and you can further do more on your own if you choose. All right. Life Review. Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Jeremiah, I think is how you say it. J-E-R-E-M-I-E-L. Archangel Jer Jeremiel or Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I believe. More green showing up. So definitely life review, relationship review. That's definitely giving me the energy of um, judgment in the tarot. Which can be about life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing, uh, bringing balance, restoration. So you may need to make some changes in order to work with this magical energy that we have here. Having to do with your true authentic self is kind of what I'm feeling. All right. I get this a lot in your readings, Aquarius. I don't know why. Some of you out there just are not tapping into the magic that you have within or around you and you've been kind of um, either not trusting it or not really putting it to use or not really tapping into it. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. So let's see what affirmation we have for Aquarius for February. All right, this one. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. So you can write the affirmations you always want to start at as started out as I am that's how you always write an affirmation so I am of integrity I am truth I am honest um, my <laughs> I am you can write this so many ways so whatever you see that resonates for you you can write as I am integrity I am the truth I am honest um, I am manifesting whatever you're manifesting. You could always write I am. I think you can always like, also write I will as an affirmation too, I believe. You don't want to write like I can or I should or I have to or I will be because that's not really being affirmative. That's more of like, well, that kind of energy. You don't want to be in that energy. Um... Definitely I am, and maybe even I will, like I will manifest whatever you're manifesting. I am this, I am that. So definitely the big words here are um, of integrity, truth, honest, and manifesting. Manifest manifesting, I don't want to say manifesting, that's not even a word. Manifesting. I am taking action. So... How that resonates for you. You can write that however you choose. All right. So let's pull you signs from spirit now, Aquarius. So these could be signs that you have been seeing, you will be seeing, um, or the signs that have messages for you. All right. What are the signs from spirit for Aquarius? Let's see. We have white and blue. Hmm. <clears throat> so we have purity, innocence, safety, light. Serenity, tranquility, and peace. So it, right here, blue is telling you, when we did have a lot of blue show up, as well as purple. <coughs> Sorry. So this is coming from a pure, innocent part of yourself, but it's about being in peace and serenity about this energy, opening your heart as well. Pearl, hidden knowledge. Red Rose, Enchanted. Mm -hmm. Red is a very deep energy. Tidal wave, disturbance. You may be worried about a storm or creating a storm or disturbance or like a tower moment. But you're very enchanted by this. this is a very, you have very deep feelings about this as well. I feel like you have a lot of hidden knowledge to share or to learn. That's already deep within you and it's about bringing it up to the surface hat roles. So you may be playing many different roles in your life, but there is a role here that you are meant to play. It's about embracing that. That's kind of what I feel. 
All right, so let's pull you a little bit of a tower reading here, Aquarius, and see what else we need to know about these energies and how they work for you in the month of February. Like I said, um, Aquarius, everything you need to know is down below your playlist. My other channel, if you still like to sub there in case something happens here. In the list of readings I do here, are all listed below if you're new. All right, so do leave me a comment. I hope you enjoy this. I really like doing this. It's a little bit different. All right, so what do we have for Aquarius? Tarot reading to see how all these energies will benefit you for... Sorry if you have my tummy. <laughs> a little bit hungry. All right, Nine of Cups, Fulfillment of Wishes, Five, Emotional Loss, Wow, five of swords, conflict and defeat. So more, look, five, five, five. Seven, stand your ground, fighting for what you want. Standing your ground, setting healthy boundaries. Six of pentacles, there is the balance coming in, restoration. I did mention restoration, life review, and there's the balance. Six of pentacles. And then we have the four of wands. There's the foundation and achievement stable grounded energy luck for a uh, rainbow brings in luck peace harmony joy and we have the two of pentacles movement choices decisions so yeah i feel like you need to decide what you're going to do here because a change is needed we have two fives that's ten endings and new beginnings you do have happiness joy contentment wish fulfillment here but it's about standing your ground fighting for what you want setting healthy boundaries Brings the balance and the stable foundation, Four of Wands. But I, I feel like you have regrets here with the Five of Cups. I mean, that could be sadness, loss, regret. About maybe feeling defeated. you feeling like uh, sabotaged or self-sabotaged. You, you know, you regret self-sabotaging yourself or making other people, letting other people making you feel defeated or uh, sabotaged. That Five of Swords. Not a good energy with the Five of Swords. But it's saying if you set the healthy boundaries, you fight for what you want, you have the stability, but you have to make the choice and decision to do this as well. Definitely a new adventure for you. But you have all this magical energy within you, around you, and you have the power to do this if you choose to. What is your life calling? Life review here. What, you, what changes do you need to make? What's of integrity and what is not? Wow. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Happy birthday. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.